Well, it looks like Peter Thomas got himself into some hot water last March when he allegedly choked a patron who called out his uh, drunkenness, I guess. Also, Peter also had a message for Mia after seeing some clips from the past reunion that just aired. We need to talk about this. Landville got that one's phone up. Just doing it at the beginning of I should this was and sweet just exclusive Nicola. Everything going the whole day for the week. Very All right, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that the week is almost over. I know I said that in my last video, but I really love Wednesday because it's that middle point of the week where you're almost to Friday. Anyways, if you're new here, guys, welcome. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss when I upload. Um, but we need to get into this whole Peter Thomas situation because it, you know, shout out to the Neighborhood Talk. They got the exclusive on this. But basically, the alleged uh, situation is that in March of 2022, Chanel Williams, who is the niece of Tammy Rivera, and now I'm not clear on whether or not Tammy is still with waka or not but you may remember these two on love and hip-hop nonetheless chanel williams was uh at bar one in baltimore and i guess she noticed that peter thomas was there but also noticed that he was really inebriated and so i think she made a comment or something allegedly about him being drunk and it's being alleged that Peter heard this because I guess he was in the same section, which then prompted him to come over and then allegedly choke Chanel until Chanel had the staff members kind of pry him off. That was the allegation. That was the story. Now, the good thing about Maryland is I believe it's one of the few states where you can go on and search anyone's name and see if there's a case. So obviously everyone ran over to check and sure enough you will see that there was an actual criminal charge against peter thomas for this uh, alleged incident that took place in march of 2022 so it also stated when we looked up these court records or whatnot that there was a court date scheduled for february 28th which was yesterday and people were curious to know, like, wonder what's going to happen with this. This doesn't look good for Peter. Um, but Peter then did do an update on his Instagram and let us know exactly where everything stands in regards to this case. Let's take Let's a look. Out of the courthouse. And uh, the verdict came back 12 out of 12 jewelry not guilty all right so as you can hear peter was cleared of these alleged uh accusations and i'm assuming the criminal charge will now go away and it seemed like this was really something that was stressing him out rightfully so no one wants to be pegged as something that they're not or be told that they did something that they didn't peter also did make um a claim that if that had happened in this day and age where everyone likes to pull their cell phone out and start to film, surely this would have been all over the blogs. And I agree with him on this. I do think after we've seen that people are filming Juan and this lady that he works with at the university, um, you know, if that's going to happen outside of a laundromat, I mean, imagine what would happen inside of bar one, specifically if Peter had actually done what was accused so now that we know that he was found not guilty you know okay great let's move on with our lives right no so i guess peter is just catching up on the potomac tea in regards to the reunion and i guess people were sending him clips um where mia was accusing wendy of basically giving Peter Thomas the cookie. Now, I didn't believe that. It really felt in the moment Mia was deflecting from the actual conversation. However, this did not rub Peter the right way. And I guess he felt the need to have to clear his name and also clear Wendy's name because I agree it's very dangerous to make accusations like that when you don't have 
100% proof. But let's take a listen to what Peter had to say to Mia. But somebody just sent me a clip from uh, the Potomac Housewife reunion show. Brother, this is kind of your fault because I, I taped with y'all for five minutes promoting uh, Bar One Baltimore and Bar One Miami Beach, and you turned that five minutes into nine episodes, and now my name is thrown around on the reunion sh show. Wendy, I shot with her one time, five minutes. Then go out to dinner with her. I didn't have no late night snack with her. She's a married woman. She's very respectful, very honorable. Okay, so for me, for you to be talking about me and uh, Wendy getting together is so disrespectful. And it's so thirsty. It's just real thirsty for you to do that just to collect that check from um, Bravo. You can't just use my name like that because if you use my name like that, I'm going to have my lawyer get in touch with you guys and it's going to be really ugly. It actually hurt my business. And that's irresponsible. Please cease and assist. Well, there you have it, guys. It looks like the whole accusation with this woman at bar one was not true, or at least it wasn't found to be true by the 12 jurors. And it's being cleared up now that Peter only filmed with Wendy for five minutes for that one scene and doesn't really know her, but knows her to be a respectable, married, intelligent woman. I want to know what you guys think of all this. I know we like to crack jokes about Peter Thomas and he's like looking for his housewife moment, but I think he's just literally trying to hustle and promote his restaurants and lounges. I know he doesn't get the best press and reviews around his restaurants. However, he is running a business at the end of the day. And yes, reality TV can be messy. People will do a lot for a check. We've seen that play out numerous times, not just on Potomac, but other franchises. But I really want to know what you guys think of this. Do you feel vindicated that Peter doesn't have to deal with this anymore? Do you believe that he and Wendy actually may have had a moment intimately? I don't, but I'd love to hear your thoughts around it. And until the next video, guys, I will talk to you next time. Bye.